Hey guys, Liza Hudson from Landing Page Guys here. And today's video is a little bit of an overview about what you need to be doing to create your pages to convert. So guys, before I jump into the video itself, if you're new here and you're not a member of our Facebook group, then after the video, head on over to Facebook and search landingpagelab.com. It's a totally free group to join, guys. In here, you're gonna find loads of great conversations about CRO. You can get free audits. Um, there's all kinds of tips and tricks. It's just a really good community to be in. And guys, if you look in the description below this video, you will find a link to join. If you are currently watching this on repeat, in YouTube, then guys, please, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell. We drop fresh content in here every single week. You'll find interviews, you'll find audits, you'll find so much stuff on how to skyrocket your conversion rates. It's just a super great channel and we hope you will join. So today what I wanted to do with you is I'm not going into any great depth. What I want to do is go over the main things you need to be thinking about when you are um, creating a page that you want to convert. So first of all, in front of you right now, guys, very excited to share this with you. Um, this is the Money Packout and Next Level Hydrogen Water Guys page that we've just done. Um, sick bunch of guys, great product, great fighter. Um, so just want to share this one with you as an example for today. So the first thing, guys, that you need to consider when you are driving your traffic is that you need to take it to a direct response sales page. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean a page like what you're seeing in front of you now. So it's not a product page. It does not go anywhere within your store. This is a standalone page. Typically, it's on a subdomain, and it is about the one product and the one sale with one call to action. Now, the other benefit of having this standalone page, guys, over a product page is that you are going to um, have a much better load speed. Obviously, with the store, everything needs to load up behind it. With your direct response pages, they can be way, way quicker, which is an instant win for conversion. Now, the other great benefit of get this, again, compared to a product page, because we see so many people driving their traffic there, is that there are zero distractions. Guys, if you are sitting there driving your traffic to a product page right now, you are literally wasting your money. You have all kinds of navigation around your store. Typically, you're going to have a footer with a million links in it, and you are chucking money away. You need to get a direct response page like this. Now, guys, we don't do this to sell, not by any circumstances. Um, we do create between like 50 and 100 pages for our clients every month. We absolutely know what works. If you'd like to get in touch, um, just click on the link below this uh, video, uh, fill out the form, and we will get in touch for a free strategy call. But let's go into the page itself. And what you need to do when you're creating your pages, you need to think about the ADA principle. Again, I'm not gonna go in depth on this video, um, but what you want to do is make sure you are following it. It's a very logical flow. So above the fold here, you're capturing your consumer's attention. As you go through the page, you start to pique their interest. You give them engaging content, guys. Make it relevant, make it snappy, and keep it simple. You then go down into the D, the desire section. Major point about any product is the desire section. And then of course you give them that big repeat call to action. So when you're creating your pages, follow the ADA principle. One of the other things guys, is that when we land, you have such a small amount of time to capture someone's attention. But ideally what we should know, and as you can see here from this page, is A, what the product is. I can tell from the image, I can tell from the text. B, how is it going to benefit me? The title tells me me this straight away. Can I trust you? I can. I can see these instantly visible trust marks. And as you can see, it's not overwhelming, guys. It's nice and discreet, but instantly I know I can trust you. And of course, the other one is, do uh, are other people using you? I have my star rating. I have my testimonial. I could technically land on this page right now and know what it is and the fact that I'm going to purchase it here and now. So that's what your hero section should encapture. It should be able to give everyone almost a bit of everything in order to get them. Now, the key, key things, like I said, are, are um, 
trust and obviously social proof. Now, it staggers me that we still see so many pages coming through with none or, you know, uh, very little social proof. So you want your star rating and you want a testimonial above the fold with an image, guys. Testimonials just written in text just do not convert as well. You need to get that image in here. Now, obviously, we've got a great fighter, but yours can just be an authentic image of the person uh, who gave that review. Also, and when it comes to social proof, like I'm saying, it's a super important part. You need to make sure, guys, that you have a dedicated section on your page to reviews. Same principles apply. Make sure they are genuine. Make sure the images are authentic um, and don't just write them out. So make sure that anyone that's on this page is going to be uh, instantly aware that this stuff is really cool and used by other people. Now, another little point on social proof as well is that we put it after our calls to action. Now, the reason that we do this because um, people can be swayed by this. So someone that's just sitting on the fence, not quite sure, sees the social proof, bang, they then take that action. So social proof is super, super key. Now, guys, like I said, this was a very, very short video. I just want to talk to you about the main points. So one, stop sending to product pages, make it a standalone page. Two, make sure you are optimizing for speed. Make sure you follow the ADA principle throughout your page, that log logical flow. Give us some sort of great trust and give us some great social proof. And guys, those are the, the key things you need in order to create a killer converting page. So guys, that's it for this one. Very quick. And don't forget, if you haven't joined the lab, click the link below this video. If you want to get in touch, also just click on the link, fill out the form. And yeah, see you on the next one.